This is actually a very important video I need to talk about and I don't know why I'm actually so scared to talk about it because it's not funny. What's happening is disgusting and it needs to stop and the annoying thing is there's no way to make it stop. You can only just mitigate it or dilute it or hide it. <sighs> I honestly didn't want to talk about this. Because my channel, I'm not a commentary channel. I don't talk about things like this. Things that can be considered drama or news. Because I just don't want to get into the commentary community. But it, it goes beyond that. And even though I don't have that much of a platform or that much of a voice. I do believe I need to bring awareness to this. Even if it's to just one extra person. Like, I need to do my part. And yeah, this video is about a YouTuber named Thumin. She is an art YouTuber, she makes art videos, and her art is really good. I've only seen one of her videos, but from what I saw, it's very fucking good. Um, this topic was brought to my attention by Creepshow Art. I believe somebody commented in my video before or after that, but Creepshow Art's video was the one I saw, and I was horrified from beginning to end. I didn't even think something like that could happen. I think I watched it at night and I just went to bed without doing anything at first, which is part of the problem. The next day, that's when I think I got the comment. I remembered the video and I told myself I want to support this creator. So I went and I followed her on Twitter. I subscribed to her channel. I'm not, I don't have the financial means to support her monetarily just yet, but if I can, trust me, I would. And that was it. That was as far as I thought I could support somebody without like bombarding them because they had more subscribers than me and everything. And I don't want to bug people because I've had bad interactions with, with YouTubers. So I just thought I'd silently support this person. I even told my subscriber that. But when I saw her video, I just, I just, <sighs> people like this exists. People that do this exists and i don't even know how to process into words what i'm feeling i highly recommend you watch creep shows video and thumin's video but watch creep shows before thumin's because it's kind of like in chronological order and i think creep show goes more into depth well not more into depth she gives the timeline of events thumin shows you the real nitty-gritty bad things and this all started of her just doing art art of herself as a studio ghibli character and the art people just lost their shit at her and they're saying that she race bend the character she did she that and the thing is i no matter where you stand in the argument some people believe it's okay to race bend the character some people don't believe it's okay to race bend the character i personally feel like if it's not okay to turn a white character black we shouldn't turn a black character white wait what if it's not okay to turn a black to draw a black character as white, we shouldn't draw a white character as black. But that's just a personal opinion. I don't really care if you do it at the end of the day. Do what makes you happy. Draw what makes you happy. I have no control over you. But in this case, she drew herself, her own person, as a character. And the internet imploded. And here's the thing. I don't even believe that it's much people. My own little conspiracy theory is that it's just the group of people who really hate her. Like maybe from her high school or something. Just people who are jealous of her success and everything. And they're using this as a way to just bag on her. Because if you just have a group of 20 people, those 20 people can create like five different accounts. And that's almost like 100 people constantly sending this poor girl hate constantly because i cannot fathom this shit happening i've been on youtube for five years i've never experienced anything like this and that is what's terrifying to me it does will will me talking about this also put me in the stew to get harassed by these people and that's what made me afraid to talk about this it made me want to back up a bit like okay let me not put myself in the situation that even though I know I can handle it, I don't want to handle it. Just because you can handle something doesn't mean you want it thrown at you. I can handle shit being thrown at me. I don't want it to. But I guess the main reason why I'm talking about this is because if I was on the other end of the spectrum, if I was the one being harassed, I would want someone to speak up on my behalf too. I would want someone to 
bring light to the situation that I'm experiencing. I would, I would want someone to help me. And this sounds kind of preachy, kind of grandstanding, like, oh, TVC, you're such a good person for making this video. No, I am not. I'm a piece of shit for being afraid to make this video. I'm a piece of shit for not doing more. I'm a piece of shit for not helping sooner, for not even knowing this was happening. I hate the fact that I didn't even know this was going on. This youtuber was suffering in silence for so long because she didn't want to bring attention to it and there are even more piece of shit garbage disgusting scum of the earth that are telling her hey you bringing light to this shit is making it worse eat shit eat a dick i hope you fall and die <clears throat> how these people are trolls. I swear to you, these people are just the same group of people that just hate this girl. Because how can you look at somebody getting attacked? How can you look at somebody getting hate thrown their way and say, oh, it's your fault. You're the one bringing this up to light. And then the poor girl started to believe it. She started to believe that because she made a big deal out of this, it was worse. But she was getting these hatreds regardless. And that is disgusting anybody who has said anything remotely rude to this person you are worthless you do not deserve to exist you don't deserve to breathe air and i hope the the cause the sweet cosmic hand of karma bitch slaps you across the face because trust me it does exist it is coming for you it will not be pretty and i will just and I will enjoy every second of your pitiful demise as you fall into the abyss of obscurity and suffer for what you have caused this woman. I can only imagine the amount of mental pain and anguish Thuman has had to go through. It's not reasonable for a YouTuber to get this much hate and nobody does anything about it. She tried to talk about it on Instagram. She almost got her account shut down. And I'm pretty sure it's the trolls that are mass reporting her. Anytime she does something, they report her. So Instagram has kind of put her on a watch list of, hey, let's kind of observe this person and see what's going on. Same thing with Twitter. She tried to report it. Also tried to shut her down. And I feel... This is not me blaming her. I feel the way she's going about it is wrong. But then again, I don't know how she's going about it. She tweets about it and then the posts get taken down. But she says when she reports the tweets or the post, nothing happens about them. So I was thinking, what if she gets a screenshot of all the racist things she gets and sends those to Instagram? But she might have already done that. So I can't even say, oh, it's probably her fault. She's probably done everything she can think of. But the problem is these companies these sites don't see it that way they might just see a black creator making a big deal out of nothing or again they might just not be here it might just be an automatic response and they'll see these things and be like there's nothing wrong with this so long as they don't see like ku klux klan or uh, a black person getting what's the word news no um sorry i don't know what it is um the, the L lynched i think that's the word sorry african here who knows next to nothing about american history forgive me um but yeah that's <sighs> the fact that those websites are not doing anything nothing and somebody can tweet pog champ or something that has to do with trump and they will strike you down with lightning efficiency it's it, it just goes to show what they prioritize. And I feel like the fact that there are more people who are hearing about this, a lot a lot less hate will be seen, a lot more things will be reported. Because don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I've never experienced hate throughout my five years of YouTube. It's very sparsely, and sometimes I deserve it. I might have said something that pissed somebody off and they'll say something back to me, but at the end of the day, I don't deserve to get hate just because I said something you don't agree with. But... I don't think I've gotten more than 20 comments out of the nearly hundreds of thousands of comments I've gotten at this point where somebody brought up my race. Maybe let's say 100. Max. But for her to... God damn it. 
just scrolling through her Twitter and seeing all the hate and shit she's been receiving really makes you depressed. Nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. Not a single human being. And I'm sorry, Thumin, you've had to go through this. I love your artwork. I love your videos. I've, 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 I'm subscribed. I'm even going to watch one of your videos right now. You just released it. I think it's about like companies stealing artworks. I'm going to be a long time subscriber because of this. And if you want, I'm here. I offer you my friendship, my ear, uh, a virtual hug. I'm here for you. I support you. I stand by you. Fuck all those other people. I would stab them for you. I would go to jail for you. Like, Let's put all the cards on the table. I would not mind going to jail to stab them. I'm from a third world country. I can get away with that shit. So let me know. Let me know. I'm okay with violence to other people who deserve it. Because how can you say shit like this and not expect to get your throat slit? Like how? I'm, I'm just saying. God damn it. I'm so upset. I'm so fucking upset. I'm so furious. And I'm trying to be entertaining at the same time. But I can't. And I... <sighs> this video might get reported. Those people who are harassing her might mass flag this video. I do believe I get like some form of mass people doing something to spite me. So, yeah. If this video gets taken down, now you know why. Or this video is already taken down and this segment never happened. Or nobody watches this video. This video still stays up and I just sound like an idiot. As per usual. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. This will be my first and last commentary video ever. Because apparently that's the category this shit falls under. This is not even commentary. This is just being a basic decent human being and talking about a subject that more YouTubers should talk about. But I understand if they don't want to talk about it, if they don't want to be dragged into the situation because i also didn't want to but i'm dragging myself so i shouldn't be a hypocrite but yeah the black community black content creators africans anybody whatever skin tone you have if you have a platform you should talk about this i'm not shaming you i'm just saying you should because one day it might be you on the other end of this receiving hate from people and nobody would want to help you because you didn't help somebody else in that same situation i'm just saying but everybody deserves help i'm gonna end the video here I'm not gonna chill or do anything nah this isn't the place if you want to support with money or anything go over and give that to thuman she really deserves it um the only thing i'd ask from you is to like the video not even for my sake just to get the video out there and recommend it more yeah comments also help that so, yeah. Thuman, I'm really sorry you've been going through this. You shouldn't have to go through this. And things will be better. I hope they'll be better. Stay strong. I love you. And keep fighting the good fight. But with that being said, this is TVC. Signing out.